the number one biggest dropshipping mistake to avoid in 2019. Yo, what's good guys? My name is Viaheza and this is going to be a super quick, straight to the point video talking about a very common mistake that I see a lot of people make when they first get into dropshipping, when they first learn about Shopify. And it's a mistake that you just absolutely cannot make in this current state of the dropshipping and e-commerce space. And this big mistake revolves around Shopify apps and website design. What a lot of people do when they first get into dropshipping is they'll find out what Shopify apps are, they'll watch a top 100 apps for Shopify video and they'll install all of them on their website. And in turn, they're left with a scammy looking website with all these pop-ups, all these weird countdowns, a bunch of unnecessary things and it's gonna, nobody wants to buy from their website. Think about one of the biggest companies in the world, Apple. Their whole company, their whole brand revolves around simplicity, revolves around the fact that their products are simple to use, they have a beautiful design on their website, on any social media, and that's one of the biggest companies in the world. And another example of this is Juul. Why are they the biggest in the electronic cigarette space? And that's because all of their designs, their product, their graphics, everything is sleek and simple. And as a beginner dropshipper, that's something you gotta look at and copy for yourself. I mean, there's a reason why these are such huge companies and there's a reason why they're so successful. When it comes to Shopify web design, less is more. I'm gonna hop into my phone over here and show you guys an example of what I'm talking about where people overload their website with Shopify apps. So here's one I found on Instagram. You go on this website right here and right off the bat, you got a neon blue header that's shining in your eyes. I mean, that, that looks kind of sketchy already. And you scroll down and you see something like this where there's new colors introduced, there's a bunch of Shopify apps that, are, that look very cluttered, a very unprofessional, and it, it almost makes it difficult to you know, add this product to your cart. Someone goes on this and it's like, oh, I just want one of these, what do I do? How do, how do I click it? And you, you can't have the person thinking that. You can't have your customers figuring out how to order from your website. It has to be super straight to the point, super easy. And then again, same website, you scroll down and another brand new color is introduced. Simply put, people are used to having a good design in front of them. They go on websites they trust and it's always a good design, they're simple to use. And when they go on some of these dropshipping websites and they see all of these pop-ups come out, all of these timers, they kind of get turned off by that. I mean, some of these websites with all the different pop-ups coming out, it almost looks like a scam. And I'm not saying you should never use Shopify apps. There's definitely amazing apps out there that can definitely boost your conversion rates, make you more money, but you have to be very selective with the ones you choose to put on your store. The apps you use have to match the theme and design of your store. So even if you decide you want a big timer on your Shopify store, make sure that timer matches the color combination of your website. So to wrap this quick video up and give you a couple of tips on making your website look professional, Here's what you gotta know. When it comes to design, less is more. You don't want a million different colors on your website. Stick to two, three colors and you know, kind of design your website around them. And make sure they're not like neon blue, neon green colors shining and distracting your customers. Make sure they're fairly subtle colors. And another thing, make sure the fonts on your product descriptions and all over your website are the same one and they kind of match and they're the same color and they're the same size because if you have a bunch of different fonts it just kind of looks distracting and it again makes your website look like a scam. So that's kind of all I have to say about this issue. If you want to succeed with dropshipping in 2019, just having winning products isn't really going to be enough. You got to make sure you have some branding going on. You got to make sure your website looks clean. It's easy to use. Your customer doesn't have to figure out how to use it. It's stuff they're used to. And with that in mind, you're much more likely to succeed. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. And if you're interested in social media marketing, Instagram marketing, dropshipping, e-commerce, any of this online business type stuff, make sure you stick around and subscribe. Hope you have a amazing, wonderful, beautiful rest of your day and peace.